Okay, so this is going to be a quick tip for anyone using Apple TV and they have maybe a, a MacBook Pro or an iMac in the same room or even in the same house because uh, the Apple remote can be quite, you know, it can travel the distance of walls and such. Uh, but have you just gone out and bought an Apple TV and realized when you're navigating through the Apple TV itself with the Apple TV remote, it kind of actually disturbs the Mac as well. I mean, if you hit the select or the play pause button on the Apple TV, it will play your iTunes library on on the on the iMac. And if you push the up and down, it will actually control the volume on the iMac, but it won't do anything on the Apple TV. So, the problem is because the Apple TV remote is actually paired to work with both the computer and the Apple TV, it's going to do both. You know, so there's a way of getting around that. I found it out. I want to share it with you guys. So here it is, in lion and mountain lion uh it's changed so this is why i'm showing you because there's most most people already know about this and there's quite a few people that already know about uh this way i just wanted to extend it out to more people so you want to go down to your system preferences and then go to security and privacy and then when you get there you're going to want to click on the um general tab it doesn't really matter to be honest but the main thing here is you unlock this padlock. So I'm going to unlock the padlock right now. Unlock the padlock and then click on your advanced settings down here. When you do that, it'll give you a, a bunch of uh, new tick boxes that you can mess about with. And this might help you with other things too. Uh, you've got log out after 60 minutes of inactivity. You know, require an administrator password to access lock preferences. Uh, automatically updates self safe download list sorry about that and this is the one that we want now I've already ticked it because I need it and uh, need it ticked I need it disabled but this little box here disables the remote control infrared receiver on the Mac so it doesn't pick up that signal when you're using the Apple TV remote so all you have to do is tick that you should have yours unticked so just tick that box click OK and you'll be good to go you can also pair your any any remote that you want to use it doesn't have to be the Apple remote but you can repair them here as well so just a quick tip hope this helped and I will see you in the next one